Today, as we said, we start the journey to Holy Week. Just before we do that, allow me to say something about the palms that we are holding. This marks, it, it, it is what we call um, the mark for, for Palm Sunday. In fact, minus the palms, uh, the, the, the celebration doesn't uh, get complete. And that, that is why it is always advisable that uh, we give it, we give the celebration uh, the, the flavor that it is historically known for. The history of this palm, because it has, it has some history, the history of this palm starts for three things. Part of the reason why it is so important on this day. Number one, it is a sign of freedom. Maybe this is what many of us know it for. In Swahili, it is Matawi. Na tunashukua Matawi, tunapopigania mabo ya ukobozi. When there is agitation for political space, we use these ones. So this one is actually a reminder of peace, uh, I mean of freedom. Now, how is freedom associated with, with the Palm Sunday? Remember when we were singing with our palms Hosanna? Hosanna, which is a Hebrew word, means save now or save us now. So, why are we, from what are we being saved from? We are being saved from the slavery of sin. So today, in a very special way, today we are asking, we are seeking for freedom. Freedom from the chains, the chains of sins that has enslaved us forever and ever. It is part of what we said on, on, on Ash Wednesday, that uh, we want to take a journey, a journey of repentance that will be saved from our sins. That is number one. The second meaning of this palm historically is the sign of kinship. In fact, today is one of the great days that we remember Christ as king. So, the kings in ancient Israel were celebrated using the palms. So today also we are reminded that irrespective of what we have gone through, Jesus is still king. He is still our king. So when we, we flash our palms, we are saying without verbalizing that Jesus remains our king. The third, the third historical meaning of the palm is victory. Again, in ancient Israel, um, people celebrated victory using these palms. Even in ancient Roman Empire, <clears throat> the winners in athletics and other games would be given like a ring, a ring of, um, of palms on their head as a celebration. In fact, even today, uh, in most universities in Rome, uh, academic achievement is actually celebrated using the palms, using the palms. You know what that means? That uh, here we have got the, the road, especially if you have attained uh, a PhD. Here we are used to the road motorboard that we wear uh, on the graduation with the PhD. Largely in uh, Rome, even today, people are given a ring, a ring of palms, a ring of palms, 
it is a sign of victory. So again today, when we sing with the palms, there's something that we are seeing deep down in our hearts, that uh, we are destined for victory. Victory is our portion. So those are the three things that uh, we need to remember this day. And it is not a lesson for Palm Sunday. This is a lesson for Christians all over the world and all the 